Hello, welcome to my channel. Um, today I'm going to show you, I made a journal out of envelopes. And what I wanted to show you was, hold on, I forgot to get my envelopes. <laughs> and I made them out of these craft envelopes. So they have, the flap is not, um, you know, the uh, triangle shaped one. They're flat like this. And I watched a YouTuber teach me how to do them. And they're, you're making them where you have, uh, I'm not going to show you how exactly I made them because I didn't practice on this, but you can make them. This is an easy way to make them is you just flip the flaps in very simply. Sorry. Yeah. And then this can become the back and you put the next one in in there. That's one way to do it is like this. So you can just then do this, okay? So this way you can also, you can do them this way, okay? And then this becomes your edge. Now, um, and I believe, yes, and that's how I did this one. So it just becomes really simple to do. And you can also turn it around so that way if you want it, so like I turned it this way so that my um, envelopes and flaps would be on the left side and my page would be on the right. And you can make them, you can do as many as you want. Um, I tried, they say like about seven is good. So I did around seven of them. So this is the end problem. Now, originally this was going to be a Valentine's Day booklet for my daughter, one of my daughters, um, who just got married last year and, um, she has two children and they're having a baby on the way. And so I wanted to just, this is before I knew they had a baby on the way. And also it started off as a Valentine's Day gift. However, my I was making it and you can see I've covered up all the Valentine. This said happy Valentine's Day. And I had to figure out a way to cover that up. So anyway, I'll go into that in a minute. So what happened was my um, husband, I was making this in January so that I could get it out by the end of January. Well, on January, so I had done a lot of it. And then my husband passed away suddenly from a massive heart attack on January 26th. And I stopped working on it. And obviously I had to take care of funeral and getting all the kids here. I have nine children and grandchildren. And so we had to arrange the funeral. Everybody had to fly in from where they live. And so it was a big thing. And so I really didn't do anything with it all of Mar uh, all of February. And then all of March, I was taking care of, you know, all the stuff you have to do after your husband dies. And then um, in April, of course, also in March, COVID came along in April, COVID. And I have a business that I um, own. So I had to deal with that. Um, so I just now was able to start putting it together and it's past Mother's Day. So anyway, I took the, for my closure, I just took some beads that I had laying around and some little trinkets and I just used plain string, um, from the, the Dollar Tree, the jute rope, and I wrapped it around two times because they're probably not, they'll probably just leave it open on their coffee table or something so that they can look at it. So what I did was this was a doily that I put on the back and then I cut out a Valentine's card that I had gotten from the Dollar Tree and I cut it out and glued it on top. And then in the middle, it says Happy Valentine's Day. So yesterday I thought, well, what can I do? And I want to please excuse me for my shadows in my video today, but I'm doing it at a bad time of the evening, like right before the sun goes down. And so the shadowing is bad in here and I have my studio lights and everything, but it's still not working properly. And I wanted to get this in the mail tomorrow. So I kind of have to do this now. And I didn't want to mail it without doing a flip through. Um, so this flower here came from another card. I think I, hmm, I might have thrown it away. Um, yeah, I'll just show you the outside. So it came from an, a Mother's Day card from last year from a friend of mine. And it had this shiny stuff all around it. Um, and then this flower was in the middle. So what I did was I cut out, I um, fussy cut it, the, but I wanted to leave a little bit of the glitter all around. So that's what I did there. That's why you have a glitter. And then I wanted to make it kind of like a little photo album because my daughter has her journal and she's not gonna journal in this. So I already knew that going into this. So this was the inside of the Valentine's Day card. And I, what I did was I 
took the doily, moved it over, glued it down here, so for some sturdiness, glued the card, piece of card over. This one I didn't cover up because it's cute enough. It doesn't have to be. There's nothing really Valentine's-y about it. And then I did washi tape right there after I glued it down. Then I got a piece of paper, scrapbook paper, put it down in the background. Then I washi taped this picture on. And then I have a magazine from Deseret Book with um, the catalog. And so what I do is I just go through the catalog and instead of trying to figure out how to do all my littering, I love to letter, but I didn't really want to take the time to do it on my own for this project. So I glued just, I cut that out and glued it there. And then the next page is my little grandsons. And again, this piece here is just, so I just washi taped another photo in and I went to Walgreens and had these printed. Um, together we are home and so that was from the catalog and so I just cut it out these are plaques that they sell and so I just cut it out and glued it there this is a sticker I got from the Dollar Tree another picture of the kids and this I done just wrapped I glued the envelope part with another piece of scratch uh, scrapbook paper um, and then I washi taped to make it a little stronger because it kept, it was kind of picking up. And then I had this scrap left over and so I put a little journaling paper in there and stuck it out so they can tell that they can do a little journaling maybe about the pictures or something on it. At the funeral we had all of my family here except for one daughter-in-law and one son and his two children so I got a picture of everybody else. And this is a sticker from the Dollar Tree. It came in a family love pack, which was so adorable. And you can see it's just so cute and such high end. It's really, really nice. These are, um, they're, they're three dimensional stickers. And then here's the couple. And this is this, um, and again, I just used another piece of paper I found. I had these hearts I got on sale at, um, I think it was Hobby Lobby and they were like 10 cents for a gigantic stack of them and they're like stickers but they're what they are they're not stickers they're for the back of your wedding envelopes so like for wedding invitations they are what you stick on the back where whoops these are regular pieces of paper <laughs> that you stick it right here you know those kind of stickers to close the to seal the so I had, I, so I got a bunch of them. They're like a quarter for like, I don't know, 150 of them it was really cool. And they look so nice with the crafting paper, colored papers. Um, this one here, I glued this envelope shut. So that's not an envelope. Then this one here, I glued shut as well. And again, this is another piece of paper from the catalog. This is an old book page that I took and then I tore with my hands, the outline, and then I used some um, ink, some Jim Holtz um, antiquing ink. I think this was the gold amber and did all around there. This was from a Marriott postcard that I got in the mail uh, marketing one of their, um, I don't know, I guess resorts or something. And I loved it, little people, big dreams. So I cut that out and I glued it down, but it kept coming up, so I, um, it's a cardstock, so it's gonna adhere a little differently. So I also anchored it with some washi tape and then another picture of my sons, grandsons. And then I made, this is a picture of their wedding and I put some, another one of those hearts, put some lace there and because she has the lace coming down here, I took some lace and put it across. And this is another from the same sticker pile from the Dollar Tree, the story of us, which I loved. And then here, I just decorated this side of the envelope. Want it to very clay, but I want it to kind of match. So I put some, the rest of a piece of doily that I had cut out here and here from the Dollar Tree. And I just used my scrap doily pieces. Here's a flower that I got from the Dollar Tree a long time ago. And then I cut out again from my Deseret Book catalog. I cut this, if you love what you have, you have all that you need and then a um, picture of our temple, and then a picture of Jesus Christ. I took this, I make my programs at church, and so I took this, and then I cut this out, and then I put a journaling card, um, my graph paper 
on the back of that so that there's a little journaling thing maybe they could see and then I also it says um, ask and it shall be given you seek and ye shall find knock and it shall be opened unto you Luke eleven nineteen, and so I have that like peeking out on this one here you can go both ways there's an envelope here or you can pull it so it kind of behaves like a belly man but not really and in here I put another journaling piece of paper because this is a picture of my husband before he'd passed away and um, shaking the hand of the groom at the wedding. And there I am and our wedding party, the wedding party is all there. So I know she loves this photo of her dad. So I put that in there so that she can remember him and also maybe write some notes about what she thought about that. And then here at the last page, I put another one of those really cute stickers, again, from that Dollar Tree pack, a piece of washi tape. I cut out another Valentine's Day card and put it, made it like a little pocket there. I made a tag here out of the catalog, um, another little journaling card, and then a couple of pictures. It's my dad dancing with the bride and then, um, my bride and groom cutting the cake so i stuck these in here and they can put more in there if they want to and then the back side was another piece of a valentine's day card and it said happy valentine's day there so i put a big piece of washi tape over that and a heart over there so you can't really see it but also you know it's going to lay this way so people aren't really going to look at that side but if they do it's not you know that big of a deal so i absolutely love the way that this turned out it was so fun to do and what a great idea to use these crafts. So what I do is I wait until, I, I buy them a lot from Amazon and I'll link to them below, but I also get them on sale. When they go on sale, they'll go on sale sometimes. You'll get a 50%, 40% off coupon at Michael's, you know, 50% uh, off coupon at Hobby Lobby, and then just go in and, and buy a package of them. Um, so it just makes it so cute. And I just thought that the tie with the same you know the natural look which just looks so pretty with along with the pretty whites and pinks on it so i'm going to mail this out tomorrow so hopefully she'll like it and make use of it but like i said she has her own we do but we both do bullet journaling and so she has her own bullet journal and um and then she also has a couple other she i gave her a wedding journal um, and so she has that with different prompts in it and stuff that I made for her. And you can see that, um, I'll try to remember to link to it here in this video, uh, the walk through, the flip through of my wedding journal for her. Um, that's really pretty. That turned out really, really beautiful. And it was like, I think the really first big project I ever did, that was like a homemade journal. I've been journaling since I was 12 years old and I'm 60. So it's been a long time since I've been journaling but I've always just journaled line by line and on paper and never done any crafty things with my journals. It's just tons and tons of pages and journaling books and binders and things like that. So this has been just a really fun experience. I discovered bullet journal like inlaying about a year ago, year and a couple months ago and junk journaling about last summer. So I'm really excited to get, go all into this and then to share my journey along the way. So hopefully you enjoy it. Please subscribe to my channel and click the little notification button. It's not going to spam you or anything. It's just that YouTube is just going to give you a little pop-up that says that I uploaded a video for you. Um, and then please leave a comment and um, like this video. The more that you like my videos, the more that YouTube will show them to more people. And then that way we can spread the love. Okay, so thanks so much for watching and I look forward to seeing you on my next video.